All right, YouTube, we got a new technique for you guys. We're talking about riding from the parallel ride and then working your training partner to his back. We can get our inside wrist ride or what they call the Dagestani handcuffs and we can work our ground and pound from there. So this is something that a lot, a lot of guys do. Let's get right into it. So let's say I have my training partner on all fours and, and I, I want to break the guy down to a hip. So we'll use our standard method of doing that. We'll grab the hip and we'll start to pull the guy down using our right knee based on his near side leg and we'll pull the guy in. As he starts to build up back to his knees, he has to extend that leg. As he extends that leg, I place my knee behind his hamstring. As he builds, I slide my foot into position. I take a single hook. So I throw one hook in the center. Now, this is where we get into the subtleties of, of MMA. If I'm in this position, this isn't jujitsu. There's no four points for taking the guys back. There's not a whole lot of incentive really to do it unless you really trust you're going to be able to strangle a guy with four ounce gloves on, which is very difficult. So let's say I have one, one rod, uh, one leg, and I'm working my elbows, I'm working my punches, but I'm noticing that this guy's tough. He keeps exposing the back of his head, and I can't get a clear shot on him. What we're going to do with our right leg, show you a few different gripping sequences. The first one's very basic. I'm going to bring my right foot all the way across, and I'm going to block his ankle. Notice how my, my hook now is a far side uh, just detractor from his post. All I have to do now is put my hands on the mat, raise my hips above his, and even if he were to try to post his leg out on this side, he won't be able to. It's trapped. I can easily jostle him down to the side and notice where he lands. I'm on four, uh, rather with a, with a forearm post. Hip can come right around. Notice that he has a forearm post here. From the forearm post, I can start to work my two on one wrist ride. I back heel, I lock my figure four up, and look what I do. I rev the engine, get his shoulder on the mat, and then from here I get an inside position with my head, and then we go to work with the ground and pound. Really, really effective movement. But first we have to get that hook in, right? So if I'm here, I break him down to a hip. Number one, as he starts building, there's a few things I'm doing subtlety. Let's analyze that really, really quickly. My chin's going above his shoulder. My form is placed right on top of his hip. So if he tries to build explosively, it's going to be hard. I can double that. I can multiply that control by putting my knee behind his hamstring. So as he builds up, I put my knee on his hamstring. My right leg slides into position here and here. Let's go back to that. Uh, that scenario where I put him on his back. Notice how my left shin bone is across the calf. So I've create, created somewhat of a closed wedge on that leg. You don't always have to do this, fellas. Look, so bring your knee a little bit more. This one. Yeah. I, I don't have to do this. See my toes? A lot of guys think they have to do this. The point is I have to make sure that the wedge is closed around his calf. That's my number one concern. And then from here, I'm going to put my right foot on the far side. I throw my hips over the top, and I put my man down. Now, again, it's still in jiu jitsu, so we're not looking to enter the back and score points here. Actually, that's high risk in a lot of cases. If it's the first round, we don't want to do that. We want to keep our hips below his hips, and we go two on one on the wrist. As I do that, I have to back heel. So, watch how I extend my right heel back, and I figure form my legs right around his knee. Now, I rev the engine, I get his shoulder on the mat, and my main focus should be to get my head on the inside position where I can start to drill hard shots, hard shots, hard shots. And essentially, he's trapped in position where his hips are going one way, his head's going the other way. He's going to be in a compromised situation. Make sure you guys subscribe. Rain. Check out my Patreon. I'm going to link it in the description. Let's go over a different gripping sequence. So I'm going to expedite it. Let's say I already have my hook in. This time, look what I do. I reach for an inside wrist ride. I'm sorry, cross wrist ride. My right hand, I'm going to go from inside wrist to cross wrist. So this is, this is the key. And you look at the leverage I have when I put my man on his back. So after I make my switch with my feet, I want to kick my hips over and watch my right hand. I switch to a cross wrist. Now no matter what he does on his left side, if you go to post on that side, he can't. And I can easily drop him down to his side. The only reason I, this is my second option, not my first, is because now notice that he's almost pinned. And usually guys can scramble from this position. See, I can't get my, I mean, I can pin him here, obviously, I can pin him. But, uh, it's a little squirmy, right? I don't have my inside wrist. I want my inside wrist. So what I'll do is I'll break him down, but I'll keep kind of driving into him. Why do I do that? Because he wants to build again. He builds? Yep. Yeah. Onto your elbow? What do I do? Inside wrist. See what I'm saying? I went from cross wrist. I broke him down. I keep him on his side. Don't let him go flat on his back. As he starts to build up, I go inside wrist. I back heel, figure four, rev the engine, head positioning on the inside, and we can do tremendous work from there.
So I hope you guys understand exactly what I'm saying. We're gonna demonstrate it one last time. We need that watch time to go up on YouTube. Subscribe. Oh, yeah. okay. Once again, Patreon. I'm doing a bunch of stuff exclusively. I'm doing one video a week on Patreon that you're not gonna see anywhere else. It's exclusive stuff, but I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with this grip, but I need you to pay attention. If I break the guy down, I keep pressure on him, I get my hook in. A lot of times I'll keep my hands on the mat, okay? But you can, in theory, throw your foot across, jostle your hips through, but watch what I do. I switch if I feel like he has a good base, and I can pull my man down. See that? As he starts to build, it's all about exhausting him. Inside wrist. Back heel, figure four, head inside position. And then from here, we're doing work. Sway, thank you, my man. Yeah, easy work. Make sure you guys subscribe. Leave a like and comment if you like what you just saw. And I said it once, I said it again. Check out the Patreon. Support my content if you enjoy it, if you're getting value out of it. The link is in the description in the first comment. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.